for me, free diving is the ability to just escape the world and the chaos around us. It's getting away from all of that and just being out on the ocean, out in nature, away from the crazy chaos of land. When you're free diving, the main aspects or the main things that are happening to the body is pressure, so the change in pressure and the increase or the build up in carbon dioxide. The current world record is held by Alexei Molchanov and that is 130 meters. Okay. Okay. The term free diving is basically holding your breath. As you're kind of getting ready to go down, you're going to take as deep a breath as you can and you're going to swim down, holding your breath. Whatever particular activity you're doing, whether you're trying to take photos of fish or shoot fish or just you know go down as deep as you can, it's all done holding your breath. It's understanding your limits and knowing what your limits are and being able to dive within your limits. There are a few aspects in terms of freediving safety. One main and most important thing is always freedive with a buddy. It's basically someone that is watching you the whole time and when you're surfacing, it's someone that's within arm's length of you. So the way it works is there's different levels within the dive courses. The stage one course is really just a case of teaching people about free diving, what it's all about, getting to understand how your body operates, um, when you're diving, what, what's happening when you're holding your breath. It teaches the basics of safety. It's generally either a sort of two to maybe three day course, which will always have an actual practical component as well as a theory component. The next stages of the level two dive course, that one starts to focus on now, how do we dive deeper? How do we take that information, build on it and extend the depths and the breath hold times that we're able to do? How do we also start training for free diving? So for example, how do we work on our fitness? How do we specifically um, manage to get our bodies in better shape? And how do we push our bodies to be able to comfortably and safely handle those depths? The main aspect that prevents people from being able to dive deep is equalization. Equalization is the single biggest limiting factor for people. Basically what equalization is, in, in very briefly, is when we dive down, when our bodies are in water and we start to go down to greater depths, there is a pressure that is acting on our body and there are air spaces within our body. So for example, our, our lungs are an air space, in our middle ears there's an air space, we have air spaces in our sinuses, the hollow bones in the head area behind sort of the nose and the top of the brows. Those air spaces, due to the pressure, shrink in size and we need to equalize or get those air pressures to the same pressure as what it is on the surface in order to continue to dive down. 